and welcome back to Primetime News. A special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. The Jamaica Constabulary Force will soon be seeking an officer to head its crime portfolio. This as the current head, Deputy Commissioner Fitz Bailey, will be retiring from the force. The announcement was made during a handing over ceremony of an advanced gang course curriculum on Wednesday. Jamela Maitland has our story. Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey has confirmed to TVJ News that he will be leaving the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. DCP Bailey, who has served for over 40 years in the force, told us that he will be retiring in another three months when he turns 60 years old. There's a person like that, their mind doesn't get any dimmer at 60 and it's, it is their mind you need, you need, not their physical ability. I'm disappointed to see him go, but I mean, I'd really, really like to thank him for his service. He's done an incredible job. As the JCF continues the investigation... Known for his towering figure and no-nonsense approach, DCP Bailey would oftentimes be seen updating the country on the latest investigations. The most recent was earlier this week about the disappearance of 29-year-old teacher Daniel Anglin. During his tenure, we have seen him leading his men and women with those investigations, and they've been tough. If you look at since the anti-gang legislation came in, um, he was at the forefront of those investigations that resulted in some some fantastic convictions that we couldn't even have dreamed of, say, 10 years ago. Former Deputy Commissioner of Police Mark Shields worked with DCP Bailey over the years. Mr. Shields, who is now in private security, described the top cop's leadership as impactful, even with an understaffed team. They need far more investigators than they have. The caseload is absolutely huge, although the results around murder particularly are very encouraging. And as it relates to who will take over from DCP Fitz Bailey, head of the JCF's communications arm, Senior Superintendent of Police Stephanie Lindsay wasn't able to say, only that the process has started. For security expert Bobby Finzi-Smith, the next crime boss should focus on prevention and rapid response team. We need to be more proactive than reactive. They must flesh out Jamaica eye in a way that makes sense. It can't be set up for recovery. It needs to be set up for prevention. However, for Dr. Jason Mackay... They're putting a lot of emphasis on operations and on investigation, and those are the two most important areas of the force. They've also spent a lot of time improving the brand. So um, I, I, I would advise that people should just continue on the same trajectory. While the men may differ on the overall direction of the JCF, they agree that DCP Fitzbailey will be a tough act to follow. Do not be media shy. Um, show the visible leadership that he has shown for his men and women. That's critically important. Keep that going because people need to see you, whoever you are. They need to be encouraged and reassured that there is a DCP crime who not only is working in the background to do the job, but he's talking to the people of Jamaica and giving, giving them that assurance that, you know, that they're doing a good job. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.